guys, Tomboy601, and today we have a match in the Francesco Caracciolo, the brand new tier 6 battleship for the Italians, currently in early access. I was fortunate enough to get this, I think, through the guarantee mechanic. Uh, it's a 1% chance in the uh, Italian big battleship crates, and like I said, I was fortunate enough to get it. If you want to see my crate drops, there is a little shorts video of it that you can take a look at. But more importantly, we have what I think is the highlight of the line and what I am just having a blast in. This thing is a brawler through and through, and we have a game that is going to show it off perfectly for you today. Relatively short, but one that, uh, well... Um, if the other team was slightly more competent, we could have gotten a crack in using only our secondaries. That's how that's how this game is going to shake out. It's, it's, it's just wonderful and magical. If you're not aware, uh, Francesco Caratrello, tier six uh, uh, battleship, and uh, the Italians have two kind of quirks with them, especially when you get up to this tier. One, they have smoke exhaust generators, which make for great fun, and two, they have SAP secondaries, which do huge damage against pretty much anyone who gets in range. So. Uh, we're going to have some fun. We are pushing to the protected side of A, which means if we can get in, we won't really have to worry about fire from too many different angles, which is exactly what you want in this battleship. It has a very unique kind of armor scheme, including an icebreaker style bow, which means if you can go nose in, keep your distance um, and make sure your broadsides aren't ex as exposed, you're going to do very well. Anyways, Benson decided that he had this, a similar idea of using the protected side to try to take cover. And, well, he is now well within range of our secondary, so we just see 4,000 taken off of him by that first salvo. Second salvo of SAP. Not even our primary. Wipe him out. And uh, that's a dev strike with the secondaries right there. Absolutely beautiful and magical. Anyways, we also go ahead and hit our smoke, and uh, we are now going to try to close the distance on this lion, get the guns turned around, kind of use this sneaky time. Now, one of the things you have to remember when you are in the smoke is you have to remember your smoke fire penalty. So whenever you fire your main guns in smoke, it's going to expand your detection radius to a certain thing. For us, it's about 13 kilometers. If there's a ship within 13 kilometers, it's going to say we are fully spotted and any ship can see us through the smoke. It is no longer effective. Uh, we go ahead, let off our first salvo there. We're going to turn in, try to use the Benson smoke. Benson has really long American smoke. So if we can go ahead and use that to our advantage, it will be very nice. Secondary, start engaging the lion right here. It's exactly what we want. Now, we aren't at an optimal angle to the lion. We are giving it way more broadside than we should, but he is very much distracted with our teammates. So we'll just keep an eye on his turret. Slow down, see if we can stick in the smoke. It doesn't look like we are. So at this point, we're just going to go ahead and continue firing at him, showing that he is at a perfectly fine angle to us. You can see our AP not petting the lion at all. We are just purely hitting this guy with secondaries. And the secondaries are doing a very respectable job. We go ahead, another salvo out. We're seeing the, we're not seeing the results we want from AP. So we switch over to HG. We're starting to get at the limits of our secondary range right here. So we're trying to keep him just in touch. But we can see we're still doing good chunks of damage to this lion. If we can get one or two more hits, he's gonna go down. And uh, down he goes. That's the second ship we've taken care of with our secondaries. Next up, Dallas deciding to push in. I don't know why, but hey, uh, good on him for, for trying to push right here. If he had torpedoes, he may of uh, he may be a threat to us, but we can see he's pushing. We're going to push. We're going to try to hug this island as much as we can. Try to get the cap off, you know, get those points in the bank and also make it so that we're at least accruing some points for our team and doing the best we can. We can see spotter plane is up, or the fighter craft is up, and he's using it as a spotter plane. And we t we cap the area just as he comes around the corner. We deliver um, our salvo. We only get three hits. One of the downsides to the, to the Italian battleships, one, not exactly that accurate, and two, they tend to have very high velocity shells which punch through cruisers just like that, right? He is full broadside and those shells definitely just didn't have the time to arm. But uh, the SAP definitely has enough to arm because it just instantly kind of takes full damage. And that's exactly what we like. We're able to use our second of our enhanced secondary battery. And we can see we're just chunking him now. We're gonna start just single firing these guns because we don't want to waste the full, the full salvo because we do 
Also have another battleship off our bow that we are going to have to take care of. But our secondaries end up wiping out the Dallas for us. And that's our third secondary kill. And we now have a Queen Elizabeth uh, straight ahead. And it is time to engage her. We've taken a... Um, our team has pretty much fully wiped out the enemy team. And this is where I was like, God, I wish, I wish we weren't this good. Because one, at this point, I'm like... It's, is, it, is it possible for me to get a Kraken using only the secondary guns? Because there's a there's a destroyer off behind that island who may be coming this way. He might decide to push towards us. And there's this Queen Elizabeth. And we can use the signature ability of the Francesco Carcoli to get closer to this Queen Elizabeth so we can start using our secondaries. And sadly, that other destroyer is out uh, going after some of our friendly ships. But we're going to use that signature ability. And that, of course is the exhaust smoke we're going to go ahead full full speed ahead we know we have the speed to close the gap with the queen elizabeth we can go ahead set an intercept course and use this 45 seconds to close the distance with the queen elizabeth we know if we don't fire she won't be able to see us and then we will be able to start firing our secondaries from stealth in the smoke which is also just beautiful so that's exactly what we're planning on doing right here we know that destroyer isn't any sort of bother for us but we now need to be on the lookout to try to beat out the other four uh, ships that are chasing the other battleship because, well, there's only 10 points remaining on the enemy team. And if they lose any other ships, uh, the game will be over. So it is now time to use both the secondaries and the primaries. We're, we won't be able to take our time as much as we wanted. But God, do I wish we could have uh, enjoyed our time right here. But uh, Queen Elizabeth sailing towards the edge of the map and we can go ahead and kind of just chase her carefree because well it's not like that other battleship will be doing or offering any sort of assistance we just need to say slightly angled and even when we don't say slightly angled we do take a good chunk like that but we can kind of give it back with a nice huge hit right there get the high caliber keep our secondary guns uh tick ticking away and uh yeah we're just closing the distance Guys, the Italian battleships are just a ton of fun, um, especially when you get them into the upper tiers and you get these great matches. I have to say, this match went really well, but it's because we got the A spawn on this map. The A spawn was built for this kind of play right here. We got to, to that short range engagement. If we didn't have it, we wouldn't be experiencing and having this much fun. So uh, it is a very situational ship, but when you're in the right situation, oh man, is it just a joy to play. But guys, that's the match. If you like the video, go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. See ya.